The play is about a secret meeting that was held in January 1916 for a th over a three-day period between uh, James Connolly, Parik Pierce and the leadership of the Irish Republican Brotherhood. And at this meeting, which is a historical incident, it actually occurred, they agreed and settled the date for the rising. Nobody knows actually what happened in the three days of the meeting, but goodness, it would have been great to have been a fly on the wall to have listened to the conversation. If it was a conversation, I'm sure it was a very tumultuous affair, considering that the ideas and visions were so different between the main characters, but at the end of it, they had a result. So what this play does, in imaginative terms, it condenses the role of the Irish Republican Brotherhood to a meeting between Connolly and Porrick Pierce. The characters of both men comes out very well in the play. It lasts half an hour, and in the first few minutes, there's a, 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 the use of expressionist theatre, in which the ideas, the political ideas of Pierce and Connolly through their writings are pitched against each other. That gives the viewer or the spectator a bit of context, and then it's straight into the action. And that's where the flesh and blood characters of Pierce and Connolly come to mind. And it's hard knuckled stuff. This is a frank conversation in which the two execrate each other. They really are hard hitting and frank in their exchanges. And yet, at the end of the play, there is a respect between Connolly and Pierce which you could hardly imagine as they begin their conversation. Eugene McCabe is a Monaghan-born writer, and how suitable a person to write a play about Pearson Connolly considering uh, Connolly's uh, Monaghan background. He wrote the play in his mid-30s, in in and he wrote it for the 50th anniversary of the Rising in 1966. It's a play written 50 years after the events, and then being presented 50 years after the play was written. It's very relevant in 2016. There's no doubt that the play was written before the days of revisionism, before many of the historical studies actually took a fresh look at the characters of Pearson Connolly. I think one of the great strengths of this play is that it is, as far as possible, fairly objective. It takes them on their own terms, in their own period, and takes them back into the minds of those people at that time. And we must make of it as we will in 2016.